Welcome to SMFC TV for 2014. We're looking forward to an exciting season starting this week. It's been a busy off season and there's a lot of changes at the club and in football in Victoria. So we're here to bring you up to date with everything that's going on in the world of South Melbourne Football Club. The National Premier League, NPL, is a new and exciting national second tier competition in Australia and will operate in each member federation under a single banner. South Melbourne has been accepted to play in the National Premier League Victoria, which essentially replaces the previous version of the old Victorian Premier League. In Victoria, 28 clubs have been accepted into the NPL, forming two divisions known as NPL and NPL1. South has been accepted into the NPL division, which is the highest level of football in the state. The exciting part though is the national playoffs at the end of the year, where the winner of each state plays off in order to see who is the national champion. So a chance to play some of our old interstate rivals in a competitive fixture for the first time since the old NSL days. Cup football returns in 2014 with the statewide cup, once again known as the Doherty Cup running during the season. Apart from silverware, the added incentive is that the four teams who qualify for the semi-finals will gain entry to the new FFA Cup to be played later this year. Maybe a chance to meet an A-League club and re-establish ourselves on the national stage. In on-field news, the 2014 pre-season has certainly been a busy one for South Melbourne FC. Coach Chris Taylor has spent the summer re-signing key players and welcoming former familiar faces to the club, whilst also overseeing a number of departures as well. So far, several players have departed the club, including Brian Bran, Luke Hopper and Nick Sulzma, all who have gone overseas whilst Alan Kearney, Carl Reckia and Trent Rickson decided to join other NPL clubs. Rhys Meredith returned home to Queensland and goalkeeper Peter Gavalis retired, as did club champion Fernando Demarais. The club will be holding a tribute match for Fernando early in the season. South fans are encouraged to visit the club's official website for more details on this event. Even though there have been a few departures, the club has been busy working to fill the roster and improve the squad. Starting with our new keeper, Jason Saldaris. Saldaris returns to the club after stints at Perth Glory, Perth SC and trials in Europe. A very capable keeper with excellent shot stopping ability, Jason will be keen to cement his spot in the South Melbourne starting 11. The defence has also been bolstered with two new faces. The first is Michael Eager. Eager has joined us following a dominant season at Northcote City with the dual Australian and New Zealand citizen proving to be one of the highest regarded defenders in the competition. A genuine leader on the park, it is expected that Eager will be not only a solid player, but someone who will have a significant impact on a relatively young playing group. He is joined at the back by Andrew Mullet. The 193cm former Dandenong and Oakley defender is coming off a breakout year playing for Melbourne Hearts youth team in the National Youth League. With Andrew being able to play both centrally or on the left, his versatility as well as physical presence is something that South fans and coach Chris Taylor can look forward to. Moving on to the midfield, the first new name is Matthew Theodore. He's a household name in Victorian football, with the former Melbourne Victory and Danny Nong player regarded as one of the most hardworking and naturally talented midfielders in the competition. He will link up in the middle of the park with former teammates Iki Jawadi and Nick Epifano, as well as Tyson Holmes to hopefully form one of the more formidable midfield combinations throughout the National Premier League. Next on the list is Kobe Boahin, who joins us from Melbourne Victory Youth. The 19-year-old has extreme pace and fantastic ability to pass defenders, something that Chris Taylor will look to exploit in 2014. Rounding out the trio of midfield signings is former South junior Slavin Branasevic. He's a calm and skillful player who had stints at Melbourne Victory and Red Star Belgrade. Last but definitely not least is our four new forwards, starting with star signing Milos Lujic. Lujic was regarded by many as the Victorian Premier League's Player of the Year in 2013, steering Northcote to the championship and securing the VPL Golden Boot and Jimmy Rooney medal for himself for a best on ground performance in the 2013 VPL Grand Final. A former South junior, Milos comes to the club as a proven goal scorer who's both dangerous in the air and with the ball at his feet. He will be partnered up front by Englishman Jamie Reid, who has joined the club from Chester FC in the UK. Reid made his mark with the Welsh Premier League clubs Real and Bangor City, scoring on over 50 occasions in just 80 appearances for both clubs. During the off-season in 2010, Reid came to Melbourne and joined Stuart Munro's Dandenong Thunderside on loan, scoring a remarkable seven goals in five matches before returning to the UK. He's a clean finisher and known to provide a strong presence up front, 
he'll be keen to get off the mark for his new club in the early part of the season. Returning to the club in 2014 is Lee Monopolis. He returns after a stellar two-season stint for Werribee City in State League One, where he almost single-handedly got the club promoted, scoring over 30 goals during his time there. We look forward to seeing him bring that form back to South Melbourne. And finally, the youngster Andy Kachoyevic. A very exciting and somewhat raw talent plucked by Chris Taylor from the youth ranks. At just 15 years old, this rising star has an eye for goal and isn't afraid to put his body on the line. Well, not a bad team we've put together. And perhaps most exciting is the fact that we've only got three players over 25 years old. Be sure to keep your eye on SMFC TV for all player movements as there are potentially some more signings to come.